Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I mostly I'll be anti-war. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not much of a public speaker, but this is time that the public needs to speak. We can't be silent, as we saw before. The voice of the youth that our world is quickly falling, falling away. What are we leaving them? I don't think this is World I War III. Know, I think we're on a continuous war against the, the very world we live in. Life and biomass is at an all-time low since an extinction event that happened millions of years ago. And who's to blame for that? It's us. It's this way that we are in the world. The human animal is becoming dangerous. We have invested way too much thought in destruction and have left the path of stewardship. <laughs> We are not, we cannot continue down this road. The seventh generation principle that some of you may have heard of where people considered and thought that far ahead in time that they were worried about people that they, not even their grandchildren would grow up to see. That's how thoughtful the land that we live on now people are. Now we have people saying things such as, get a little nervous here. <laughs> Now we have people saying things such as, um, it doesn't matter, I'll be dead in a hundred years. And with that attitude, all of us will be dead in a hundred years. It's not right. What's, what the next generations are getting, each generation leaves things worse and worse behind, and, and that's no way to be. Um, so one last thing. So, defenders will allow blood on their hands sometimes to defend the blood in their veins. That's not what we have here. We have fascists who will allow blood on their hands because there is no blood in their veins. We cannot allow this to continue. Thank you. Woo.